Hi guys, this is Alex from My Outcast State on YouTube, and today I'm going to read a blog post from Silence Without, bringing you the views of Tessidum since 2002. The Psychomatic Phrenosoma The Psychomatic Phrenosoma is most often found in the abdomen, particularly in the stomach, but has been known to roam about the digestive tract and guts according to the stability, or lack thereof, of its immediate environment. Eggs are introduced to the host via oral injection, usually riding in upon words that the host does not wish to hear, or that perhaps herald further words that the host does not wish to hear. As these words traverse the airways, they trigger various timers and countdowns that will either terminate in their own time or at the behest of external interference. Once the eggs are deposited in the head, they will remain dormant until mindscape surrounding them is at an appropriately fruitful and tense state, at which point they will hatch and begin their journey south into the literal bowels of their host. There, depending on the stress under which the host is placed, they will grow into mature adult size which is typically just a little bigger than is comfortable for the host. The host will react by clenching her stomach against this protrusion, which in turn will prompt the psychosomatic phrenosoma to extend the many spikes adorning its armour. This conflict will proceed as a struggle of wills, with the phrenosoma twisting, clawing and scrabbling about with its many spines and claws, while the host is most typically sitting calmly in a public place, such as a tram stop or an office desk, gazing distractedly into the distance and working the inside of her lips tensely. The psychomatic phrenosoma causes no physical damage. The infestation ends once the host's stress drops below viable levels, at which point the phrenosoma dies passes through the host's digestive tract and leaves the body with a moist sigh. The common name for the psychomatic phrenosoma is anxiety. Thanks, Tess.